God has a will for us in heaven. Let me back, let me back up, make sure I got this clear. Make sure you're with me. Please don't miss this. As a matter of fact, before we came to earth, we met with God in the spirit. Before God sent all of us to earth, God had a will for us in heaven, in the spirit. Before you were ever born, God had a will for each of us. This is what he said to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, 1, Jeremiah said, Jeremiah 1 5. God tells Jeremiah, Jeremiah, before you were formed, y'all not going to help me preach here, in the belly of your mama, I knew you. And not only did I know you, but I had sanctified you. Before you came out your mama's stomach, here it is, and I ordained you to be a prophet. So, Jeremiah, before your parents connected, I knew you. Before you came out your mama's stomach, I sanctified you. And the will for you, Jeremiah, was for you to be a prophet to the nations. That was done before you ever got together. So what I did one day, I let your daddy at the mall, at the game, at the movies, back then at the sock hop, they were, they were listening to the temptation. He starts singing my girl in her ear and said, baby, would you let me spin the wheel of my conversation around the axle of your understanding? That's an OG move right there. That's straight OG right there. I'm trying to help these young boys. So y'all young boys, y'all too busy texting and don't know how to talk. That's why you can't get no woman because you texting, but they my SHM. Y'all, no, put your phone out and learn how to talk, dude. Do like Papa did. Baby, would you have an objection of a man of my complexion came in your direction off to be your protection? <laughs> she fell for it before they ever came together. Before all of that happened, Jeremiah, I knew you. I sanctified you and I ordained. So you that was you were in, that was a will for you before you came. But when your parents came together, they brought you into the world. You had one purpose. Here was your purpose. Your purpose was on earth to fulfill what I talked to you about in heaven. So the thing that we talked about, the thing that I had for you before you came to earth, I put you in earth for one reason, to fulfill that. Yeah. Now here's where it gets tricky. You and I don't always know what that was. So when I come down here, when you come down here, society shapes what we think that is. So instead of trying to identify what that was, we go to college to get a job to make money. Because we think making money, getting a job is the purpose. And you go spend all that money, get student loans, and work for 10 years, and then hate your job. And trying to figure out why do I don't like what I'm doing? I, is, it, could it be because you're doing something on earth that he didn't tell us to do? So we spent all of our life on earth trying to figure out what is it that he put me on earth to do that he had already put in the wheel when I was back in heaven. And so, one day, when we go back to heaven, he's going to look for the people that he knew before we came here. So, Jeremiah, I knew you to be a prophet. I'm going to put you on the earth to prophesy. Now, when you die and come back to heaven, Jeremiah, I'm looking for you, the prophet. Now, if you come back, Jeremiah, the singer, I'm going to say, 
depart from me. Because I never. You ain't the one. Now let me take it a step further. I also believe that when we're in heaven, that not only God know us, sanctify us, and ordain us to be a prophet or whatever he, got, he ordained for us, but I believe God meant for certain people to be in our lives. I believe there are certain kind of people that God ordained to walk with you. Because everybody can't walk with you if they're not called to the same purpose you're called to walk in. Okay, y'all, okay. Okay. Okay, let me come this way. So, Jeremiah, since I am ordaining you to be a prophet, that means if you get with a woman, she can't be a streetwalker. Jeremiah, your woman can't be a clubber. Because if you're trying to prophesy on Sunday and she clubbing on Saturday, you ain't going to be rested to prophesy in the morning because you're going to be wondering if she backing that thing up and dropping it like it's hot. Y'all ain't going to help me preach here. So Jeremiah, you trying to be working and she in the club twerking. It ain't going to work. Somebody help me preach this thing like I'm feeling and let me tell you what happens. And this is what I believe. We, we run into conflict whenever we try to bring in our lives the people that God didn't ordain to walk with you on your journey. And here you're trying to hold on to something. You're trying to make somebody fit you. Trying to do everything you can. Huh? Done cut your nose off four times. Done made your lips big. Y'all ain't sending. Got Botox in your head. Got cement in your backside. Come on, y'all ain't sending to me. Pushing this up. Got green contacts in your eyes. Trying to be something to make somebody receive you. And the problem God is saying, I didn't create you to have cement. I didn't create you to have all these implants and Botox. You trying to walk with somebody who wasn't assigned to walk with you. And what happened, instead of you being what I want you to be, they done changed you into what they want you to be. And now you don't even know who you are no more. Somebody shout, God, reveal your will. Repeat after me, God, show me what you want me to do. God, show me who you want to walk with me. Scott, and if I'm walking with somebody that you didn't ordain for me to walk with, today, in nothing like now. 